Hey folks, welcome back to Ostriff. Just looking over here at... Well, we're actually taking up quite a good chunk of this corner of the map now, aren't we? Look over here at the mini-map and... Yeah, we're, we're starting to, uh, to leave an imprint. <laughs> um, we're middle of November and they are managing... I thought it was running. They are managing to take this field down. It's, it's running really slow. We could watch this for a minute... And let's see, do we have anything being threshed? Kind of do. I was asked if there's any chance that prioritized gathering will override the threshing. I assume the prioritized gathering meant just get it all mowed down before you bring everything in. That's worth checking that and find out. Uh, working on field, gathering a harvest from the field, threshing. So it's probably not something that we're going to be able to determine this time unless everybody gets done hauls this in there's a little bit left then we can wait to see if the next round of oh i guess everybody's here so yeah we'll see the laborers may finish it off before we can test that but we'll be able to see it next time at least anyway they're bringing in what's left out here this was buckwheat and it's being threshed and turned into buckwheat as we uh, as that's happening i took the forestry down forestry number two not to be confused with number three and number four <laughs> so maybe this should get designation number two it's kind of like i think we we kind of moved it from here to here it's just a better location all right this is number two and that's number three yeah, that's how we'll talk about them. Anyway, this one went down. I've asked the citizens to please haul these two piles away so I can start building there. I asked for ideas, and a few ideas did come in. One was chicken coops. One was a tavern. And one was a school. And I like the school idea. I think this community could use representation I don't know if this is too far away we only it, it's hard to believe we have only this many what was it 10 to 15 year olds in this entire village so I suspect there is a circle that we can't see and those are the houses that it provides for so yeah a school down here might be a really good idea um, but I like the chicken coop idea too we've got chicken coops over here and they're making eggs and chicken uh, meat but I don't know if these are too far away to really be represented over here what have we got now well, we do have chicken meat here I mean it is making it and we've got eggs hmm so maybe it's not as critical critical as I thought but still it feels right whether it's mechanically necessary or not I kind of like the idea of a chicken coop right here and a school right there which means this guy, Thatchery, needs to move first. So if we were to cancel, let's pause, demolish that, take a, uh, a snapshot of it, and let's see, let's flip you around a little bit. I think you'd work out here somewhere. The same kind of roof line is right there. So... Yeah, you can be down in here, and I guess up there against the, uh, I think that road's probably pretty permanent. It comes right off these houses, goes straight across to this whole intersection here. So yeah, right in there. And hit T a couple of times, and set you. So you're the new thatchery that will be in at some point. So now we could put another chicken coop in here, right there. And hit R a few times. Let's see. I did throw some trees in here just for fun, but they don't have to stay. Do we want her to come to work in between these markets? Or do we want to touch the buildings near up against each other? And kind of walk around the backside up there. Don't know that I like that. That's feeling pretty cramped up there. Hmm, okay. Um, is there any other choice? Kind of, but then we move the road. 
Okay. But I like the idea. We don't have to be too open right here. We can have a, a smaller walkway. So right there is about it then, isn't it? Just missed that tree. And we'll try for that. Okay, chicken coop there. Not important that it happens immediately. Though the school might be kind of nice to see happen, but these are not going to get moved, I'm guessing, until there is another building site to move them to. And we have no more building sites out here. We do have, I would really like to see this one? Let's say this one. Uh, warehouse. You are, boy, those, those things are tiny up there. Let's put you next so that you're built. And maybe that will draw these materials this way to fill this in. I don't know. I don't know if it's the closest building materials or if it's the closest ma building materials to the builder or the carter who got triggered to go supply building materials. So if they're standing up here, when they get triggered, they may walk over and get nails right there instead. So different ways of looking at a situation like that. Um, we've got the tavern right here, so I didn't see the need to put another one in. Um, it is pretty much central to our potential three areas. I can see another tavern going in here or here, depending on what happens out here. So, yeah, I think, I think the tavern needs to stay where it is, but a school and a chicken coop and move the thatch tree over. I think that works pretty good. All right, so over here, what have we got going on? Taking a rest, taking a rest, taking a rest. Everybody, here's going to work. There is still some sunflower seed to, to uh, thresh. So she's probably going to go straight to that and or her. So it's these guys here, these ladies here, that would be the first likely ones to trigger to come down here and do this. No, if this works, if prioritized gathering works, then these two coming to work should come straight down here and do this instead of going in there to thresh that. That's what I was trying to say. Yeah, so we'll find out if they do that. Let's kick the speed up and see where they go immediately. Coming to work. So you're the first one. And are you going to thresh or are you going to work on a field? You are threshing. Um, yeah, and you are threshing too. So prioritize gathering did not help there at all. The threshing is going to override everything. That's unfortunate. I was about to say there's not a lot more going on right now other than just building the stuff. We've kind of got all the the fires out, the questions answered, and you know, except for waiting for that. So we'll just keep it at speed too and let it run. Uh, we are at the end of November. You're no longer employed. Your boats are decent enough to start next year. And you are too. So there's the first boat to work on in March. Okay. And hopefully he gets there before the first fisherman grabs that boat. Now, hey, 1700. Ah, uh, we're starting to use it now. Yeah, you can see it ticking down because we actually have cattle inside because they all came in from the field. So winter time is when we start going through the hay. And I think as more houses get built, there'll be more laborers around and they will start to work on these without having to be bribed to do it. Uh, completed a house and a married couple jumped into it. Good news. And we've got two other houses ready to go, but... We're going to work on that one next. Click, click, click. And I'm curious to see if anybody in the queue... All resources are already collected. Okay. So 59 nails. Someone's coming to get 59 nails. And it's a cart because you just can't carry 59 nails. <laughs> well, it's probably not 59 nails. It's probably 59 cases of nails. You need more than 59 nails to, to build a forestry. So, 1,700 and 200 is on its way out, and that was gone, and you're going where with it? You are going to put it back into the lumber yard. Aha. Okay. Well, that's how they're going to deal with that. So, we must have 
gatherers. I never noticed if this got finished. Most likely it didn't. Well, look at that. It's there at the end, so it's very possible that one laborer made it and did a pretty good job there. So now we're gathering all the stuff that's left over in the fields. They just went and got those. So there's, there's still a laborer coming in to get that last thing right there because these ladies are busy threshing this and they'll spend the whole winter doing that. Two in, in fact, I don't really even need two now, do I? I had put in the other one in case they were the ones that did the, the, uh, the hay production. So let's take you down to one. And you will work on the, well, just that part right there, then you'll be done. Someone's coming to get buckwheat. Great. Otherwise, the last, I didn't know one was still on its way in. What did you buy? You bought the flour. Interesting. Okay. Um, and someone else wants our attention. Okay. Who is that? That is Blacklia. Blacklia buys salt? What do they buy? No. But flour, we've got 600 in town. Let's go ahead and sell 400 to you. Deal. Blacklia is this one. Flour. 400 temporary. What else do we have? Sell to you. How's our iron as far as next time we need to buy it? Right there, iron. I don't think we've been using it much, but I'm not seeing it. Let me look through that again. H-I. Are we really out of iron? Or, or at least nothing in storage? Right there. Iron, 400. And right there, 300. And nothing in storage. Yeah. Okay, we could use a thousand iron soon. And let's see what else. What was that other noise that popped in? Oh, the warehouse is done. Um, I'll run on slow. I've got time. Let's go trigger this right now. So we want warehouse. Uh, I hit the wrong button. That button. Firewood. Right there. 10,000. And done. So I want you, let's just move some out over there. Uh, especially from, wow, white roofs are hard to discern what's what. That's you. Let's move firewood, 6,000, and there's 400 leaving. So if I, that's 5,900. If I put 10,000 firewood, I'm curious if it let me you know, kind of pre-order moving 10,000 to, and it's going to let me choose right into here. So if I did that, there's 59 coming. Okay, so that doesn't work. And so 5902 and one, let's send another 5931, 41. So firewood right there. Let's send another 4,000 firewood. By cart to this warehouse. Okay. So that should give anyone who comes over to load up these charcoals plenty of firewood available right next to them. And we'll see if that does any better. Um, what was I doing? I was doing Balaclia. So we did flour. And we need iron next time that's available. Uh, we could sell lime charcoal. No, buy. Buy lime, buy charcoal. Oh, so we can buy from them. I, was, I had the columns reversed. Okay. So, so they're demanding. Yes, yeah, so we're buying. Okay. Yeah. It's not early in the morning and it's not even Monday. So I, I've got no excuse. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> okay. We're at 2700 as far as our... Uh, our treasury so we're doing pretty good haven't had anybody complaining of running out of, of monies for a while so that's good uh, world map so as far as purchasing goes we don't need stone right now I don't think we need stone right now stone are we still like 1500 
Stone, stone, stone. We're at 3,600, so we are fine with stones. We are finding our own now. It's just taking a long time to make it out there and back. But slowly but surely, our one lone stone hauler is, uh, is bringing it all in. Okay, flower lizard for sale. No potatoes to sell. Uh, dried fish, probably not. There's 500 in storage, and it doesn't go bad, so we'll hang on to that for food reserves. Sunflower oil, we're starting to make it again, but we're not going to have a lot. Although we did just bring in a crop. Okay, so all of our peoples are going to be buying that stuff up pretty quick, so I don't want to grab it all. Let's sell 500 of it. And deal, and we'll quickly move that into place. Sunflower oil, 500, and temporary. And I think I'm going to take you back down to 500. We now have storage for shoes. I, I had done that so that these guys could empty out their 500 in, in stock more, you know, more quickly. But we are calling for shoes over here, 4,000. So there's, there's room now to, to move shoes out of their, their own storage. Um... Otherwise, what here? You, sunflowers coming in, and clothes. We still are having a problem with clothes. Kind of use this as a way to go through and check out the town and make sure that we're okay. You have 11 days left. Clothes, did this all get turned back on again? It did. You guys have lots of hemp, and you're starting to make lots of textile. Is that getting moved over? It is not, and it used to be the laborers that did all that. They would bring them over for them. So eventually, well, they're, I guess, busy working on the warm clothes. So let's give her a chance to finish that. You are working. Feels like that bar just stopped moving. Okay. Waiting for 20. So you're both doing these. So if I got somebody to... Let's just set you up as laborer by hand and see if someone just brings this pile over. They're not looking to get the pile because they've got plenty of work to do. So they have no need to go get that textile. So we'll have somebody else do that. Although it says somebody is 20, but I'm not getting a trigger here. Interesting. You are working and taking a rest. Working and working. Nobody is hauling supplies yet somebody's coming to get this maybe the labor no we don't drop it into here we go straight into uh, into there interesting don't know who's doing it or why you are not nobody in the immediate area is huh okay now, storage-wise, how are we doing out here? Everything has been taken away from these two granaries. And this one, still have lots of buckwheat. We did have some to store buckwheat here so that they'd be closer to the chickens. Okay. Otherwise, these two are taking from everyone else to store everything in a, in a central location. And we seem to be doing just fine with that. So, cabbage is up there. But is it also down over here? There's 90 of it here. So they are able to go up there and get it. And that's fine. Okay. So are you guys able to get goods into your homes? You still are. Okay. In fact, someone... Hmm. Are we still selling dried fruits? I didn't think that was really a thing. They make it, but they don't seem to make it in a large enough quantity. Yeah, there's nothing in here that's dried fruits. So they're waiting for dried fruits. Maybe somebody's at home making it. That was here. So, pumpkin. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. So, some for some reason, they're waiting for dried fruits. Um, what have you got in your hand? No. And your home. And in your hand, lime. You're working. Okay. So, over here, I'm just kind of rambling around here. No no real goals this episode. Just sitting back and relaxing and seeing how they're doing. Um, you've got plenty of work to do, and someone else is picking up more buckwheat. Okay. And you're taking a rest anyway. And you guys are running. 
You, what are you guys doing? You're taking a rest. There's nobody... Well, there is a manager. But who are you? You are grabbing the buckwheat. So you work at the... As a laborer for here. No, you work here. That's right. We are hiring those things, those folks all year long now. So you're going to top off the buckwheat. I've asked for 5,000. She'll be doing that for a long time. Okay. Alrighty. So built this one, building this one, and then we'll get into probably need that one next, which is there. Yeah. After that, cart parking will be helpful for down here. And the other warehouse to get even more firewood down here. So firewood is... We're still awaiting 7,200, so we're taking our time getting that done. Must be you guys doing it, though. That's what we asked for. They're off to pick it up, most likely. Three carts are on their way. Okay. And these carts are most likely just not working right now. Working and working. So you guys are somewhere else working, whatever that means. I don't know. You're just getting to work. And you're taking a rest. So these guys have got carts. But what does working mean when you don't have a cart, but you're a carter? <laughs> I haven't figured that one out yet. Alright, warehouse. We got salt and bricks over here. You guys are all shut down for the season. You three should be working through the winter. You are taking a rest, working, and going to work. So by the time going to work gets there, they should go take another tree down. No, why are we not taking trees down? Because we have 19, but... <sighs> and we end up doing nothing because we fulfilled our quotas for here too. Yeah. So the idea of having five in here is, is just never going to happen. Unless we're building construction sites over here. And they need to take trees down. Otherwise, almost like I need something, an entirely different plan here. Off season one, on season three, and on is every other month to bring trees in and then the other month one person chops it all into firewood I think that's probably a more reasonable plan here something like that yeah three and one three and one three and one and it may be that that's even too aggressive and maybe three one one three one one huh Okay. Now up here you are doing nothing but chopping firewood and you're not even doing that most of the time because we can't use it up fast enough. Okay. So you effectively could be doing the same thing. Enable. Well, oh, I wish I could just copy that one and put it over here. Okay. So you'll do the opposite. You'll be working that one. So like that, off, on, off, that didn't work, December, January, February, there we go, yeah, there's every other, and off season is zero, okay, so that's still more than enough to do just the firewood, okay, so fine tuning that industry, these guys then, Except that they're taking workers that actually would can reach this area. Otherwise, I'd put them, you know, five on and leave them there all year long. Just keep taking trees down. That's probably more important than trying to get these crops in. It really is. So let's do that. For now, you're going to be five and five, and we'll do that for a year. Then we'll, then we'll uh, reevaluate that. Okay, so we are into early January. What else have we not looked at lately? So you guys are ready to be employed in July by one worker. Are these ready to be unemployed in July by one worker? Yes. Okay, so we've got our workers available. You have married and you grabbed a house. 
good. And you came over with 17 gold compared to the 90-something we saw last episode. And you're grabbing all your supplies and you seem to be able to reach a market. So maybe this one isn't truly necessary. I don't know. Okay, so next project is next door. And that will be fine. Um, beyond that, we are at the cart parking. Yeah. Um, we have unhired a few people. Let's try to make that happen. And whatever happened here, we did get somebody to slaughter cows. We do have somebody to get the leather going. And it has happened. Great. So we could pick two more cows if we want to hire another person. Or we can just wait for a little while. Um, you are at 18. Now in the spring, maybe that's when the cows are born? I don't know. Maybe we do need to clear out two more just to be, just to make that happen. Let's say that's a thing. You are not on... Get rid of enable seasonal. We're just going to do this manually depending on how many batches are there. Okay, so a second person could handle another batch. You can do that. So it's a matter of somebody hiring in to do that. Uh, people and um, unemployment looking for a job. Three men. So this should hire in unless it's too far away for the three men that might be over here from the fishing dock. Yeah. Um, working on this house. If we catch a point to where Almost everybody is taking a break. I could fire everyone, then rehire them, and see if somebody repositions into that job. And that will make this happen. So you... Nope, someone did make it. Okay. So, just a matter of waiting for someone to, I guess, reevaluate their life. It did mention, you know, we've read this before in any of, like, these, personal log... Um, season ended or well is this going to be a bad example yeah the very first one we read here no here personal log personal preference to stop working at the forestry personal preference versus was fired so I think personal preference means a job came up that was closer to home that would be my guess so, if that's the case, it could be that somebody fired or quit. Well, okay, let's let's see if that is a thing. That was you, and your personal log is that season ended for the forestry. So, you were just waiting and looking for a job. There was no, you didn't just reevaluate your life and decide to, to work there. Okay, so let's get two more cows being butchered then. And I put in two ladies in here in case that helped with the process of getting more milk out. I don't know if that is a thing or not, but it could be that it takes more workers to milk all of the cows. But let's get rid of the two five-year-old cows right there. And oh, that one instantly left. That's why it looked like I had misclicked. Okay, so hopefully it doesn't mean... three. This one's going to go anyway. I had unclicked another one earlier, a few you know, episodes ago, and they still slaughtered that one anyway. So hopefully that three-year-old can stay. So that's two, and you're going to take care of that. You are slaughtering a cow, which means we're walking Bessie through the town on her final walk. <laughs> yeah, walking the mile. All right, so over here, how are we? We are still waiting for 3,000 more. Okay, so out of that 10, I think we've moved quite a few into here. Interesting. So 40, so we could handle 2,000 more. Now, do we have 2,000 more sitting in here by now? We probably do. Uh, your bark. We don't. That's empty. Okay. He's going to get to work on that. 2,000 more. Firewood's right there. Let's cart another 2,000 to this warehouse. Okay. And we'll make that work. It may be wise to go ahead and hire this warehouse worker. Of course, the cart shed isn't here yet. 
but it will be soon. It's the next thing in line. And let this person... I can have more. Interesting. So this could be just part of the chain of making lots and lots of charcoal. Mm-hmm. Now, this person will not go and gather charcoal from here, right? Is this one only done by the laborers associated with the charcoal pile? Or will this person bring a cart over and load that charcoal out of the pit to fill up their warehouse? Let's find out. Maybe we can catch them in the act. Okay, so we'll hire those two in. And they can be ladies. Oops. They can be ladies because lady workers can use carts. So, same thing here. Workers. Women. Okay. Okay. And seasonal hire is not a thing here, though nothing's unchecked, but we'll do that just so there's no confusion. So you and someone's coming to get charcoal and no seasonal hire and only women. Okay, and if it works, then you should be able to cart your way back and forth here. Although it's not that long of a trip just to be walking it. That'd be fine. It's this one that needs to cart it from out over there or out over there. Okay. So, where am I? 30. This is going to be a shorter episode. Another we have a lot of a lot of kids that have grown up and are ready to marry. So, we're going to have a wave of no new people coming into town. Which is fine. That's fine. It'll all work out in the end. I'm not worried about that. We don't always have to have fresh blood coming in. Um Anyway, shorter episode this time. I've got things I've got to get done tonight. And so I'm going to try to squeeze maybe 40 minutes in and make this happen. Last thing, a market stall went in. We're still cutting trees over here. Okay. So next thing, Marifa. Next thing I want them working on will be houses. So kick that other market stall down the pathway there. And after that, let's get working on these orchards. And cart parking is done. Great. Order four of those. Give our carpenter something to do. And exclamation point, meaning we've gone below our 18 finally. But next month, three will hire in and we'll fill that back up again. So that should be fine. You did not hire. And still the 2,000 that we ordered is on, the, on its way in. Okay. You have nobody uh, looking for laborers. Looking for... Q queued. Okay. And that's being worked on right now. Great. Is that circle move or is that just a, a static symbol to say we're working on it? Doesn't look like it moves. Okay. So you did not get a worker. We've just about hauled all the charcoal out of there. So little by little, these things will shut down, rehire, and relocate and, and rebalance all on their own when we hit to the end of March. Uh, because sowing season is shorter. It's harvest that's the problem, right? Um, higher options, yeah. It was just it just uh, harvest time that we got two months off. Sowing is one month. So the, by the 1st of April, all these jobs should kind of relocate and rebalance themselves out to grab the job that's closer to home. We'll see how that works. You guys, though we do have folks working at the windmills that come from way over there you know let's set that up one time seasonal hiring will go to zero for off season off season will just be a single month of march and i guess august and let's send that across apply to all and that'll give them a chance to also relocate their uh, their labor now what's happening over here we did bring in two people and you guys are just making bricks. We got 7,400 sitting here. We've got 5,000 sitting here. And don't have any more buildings planned that need bricks. So it may well be that we can mothball that again for a while. I really don't foresee, although the ashery will take bricks, but 1,400 is all. And that's not going to happen anytime real soon. 
So after after this batch, um, gathering work, work already done. Okay, don't need to continue that. So you guys can can go off and find other jobs right now. Other jobs that are more more needed. All right. So with that, what other questions? A child has been born right over here, right there. Newborn and a five-year-old. You're a fairly new family. Perfect. Um, trees got planted up in here last time, and we are waiting on this guy. Did the materials get moved out of here? They did. All right, let's get this guy set. I'm trying to figure out exactly how to do that. These are pretty parallel with this. I don't know if the main road is there or if the main road is down here. I think the intent was to come out right about here and shoot through to there. The, but these aren't solid structures, warehouse, so that people are just cutting through it anyway. Hmm. In other words, if we were to just do something like... Why can't I... Too short... Okay, try that again. This. Oh, it's that's that's not a fence. That's what's wrong. That is a pasture or a field. Okay, so grab you or getting into. I guess I can let it go into the harvest. Um, what are you? You are three rail. I'm thinking this one. Nope, not quite. But if I were to take you down to like that. So that you'll quit cutting through and taking out all of our grass in here. Then we can start forming a real road through here. In which case, all of that to say, maybe the school, click out of that, education school, should be like right here. Hmm. Although, we could fence down to there. For that matter, we can... Well, I was going to say we have a road we wanted to form through here anyway, but it's really for these folks. So it needs to come out of this road. But we could... Hmm. We can use fencing to create the road down there. How does this guy align? I think he aligns parallel to what will be the road, which is actually closer to right there. I think we do something like that, and then we play with fencing to kind of shape an area dedicated to that school. So you'll just pop into there, and you can go in prior to what? The Ashery Granary School. Yeah, you'll be next. So we get that house done. So farming... We can't... Let's see, is there anything we wanted to test? There really wasn't. These ladies are getting the... The, um... Uh, plowing done immediately. There was an idea that came in. I haven't taken the time to, to really think more about it, but... There are combinations of... Of plantings that... Can have enough nutrients to get through it... Without having to do any plowing. And these might be... That combination... Meaning, a fowl or fallow will be enough to recoup without having to plow. In which case, it would immediately call for laborers, not waiting for the plowing to get done. So, if you could have one of those set in each farm and then click the don't plow this field, then it could be the one that the laborers trigger at instantly and get working while the other two are being plowed. So there is a, an efficiency tactic to, to play with if you decide you want to do that. Otherwise, let this happen, then I probably need to shut this down in a little bit. So this will be one of the shortest episodes <laughs> in Ostrov history for my channel. <laughs> Anyway, we did fill these two up. We have charcoal being made. 
we have a lot of folks that aren't working now. They are sewing where they can, and and I've got this roster full. But um, one thing we'll notice, though, is you know, as we have each time when this one completes, which is real soon, this guy when this guy finishes. If wages were enough to pull everybody over here, last time we tried 500% uh, wages for the laborers. If wages was enough, then when this thing fired, which it will soon, I think all those folks just went home. But yeah, working on field, so they're all on their way into work. When they finish this, this whole crew here should swap right over and start working over here. Yet four is the most we've ever seen. So it truly is a distance issue that's that's going on here. They hire over here at no um, increase in wages. Just 100% just fine and almost instantly. So they're really happy over here. They're not happy walking that far. Now if I had put this farm here and then moved all the fields down, this might not, be, it might not have been near an issue. I don't know how close we are to just barely being out of range, if that is such a thing. So you are mostly done. And, and Oh, it does update in real time. Look at that. Or did it? Did that just move or did I, did I blink? No, nope, there it goes. So it does update real time. So you... Got five left, and you guys are working on the field as well. So they will plant everything no matter what the crop is. That one is flax. And that one is something that needs to be threshed. So threshing is not an issue for sowing. It's only a thresh, an issue for, for harvesting. All right, so you guys are just about done. There's only two left over there. This is where we should be filling up over here as they all become available again. But still, we only have access to just those that happen to live close by. A little group right there, and that's all that we have to choose from. But we're done, though, aren't we? No, we're not. We still have to sow this whole field and this whole field. So we've only gotten most of that field sowed, and that was it. So we're about to... No, we're two months on most of the of the workplaces for, for sowing. So there's still folks available, which means they're going to be doing other things right now. What was that? Somebody was out of firewood? Yeah, but you're, you're going to go get some. That was just a temporary problem. And you guys still have no firewood here so what happened there i guess it just keeps getting cleaned out uh, especially right now that's been filled up this will be filled up next looking for laborers you are anybody and by cart or hand okay so but now there's no close firewood nearby yeah uh-huh it's all down over here your problem is you have only one guy, but you're you're busy. Well, you're not busy making firewood. You're full. So 2,000 more is heading in because... Ah, well, she's taking a rest, though. But she just left. A uh, messenger from Marifa. There was another one that I missed, didn't it? Didn't I? Yeah, we'll let them go. We'll catch next episode. So over here, we got... We're halfway done here. We've got two to four is all we're ever seeing over here. And little by little, these folks are farm, forestry, unemployed, unemployed. So they're going to rehire to somewhere over here. Um, farm, unemployed, and warehouse and fishing docks. Warehouse, warehouse. There is not a warehouse over here yet. So not sure where you, maybe you're this one. Could be. Working on a private garden. Nope, not you. How about this one? You, yep. Yeah. And you're taking a rest. Okay. So we did manage to... It was that one. So they managed to fill this one next, too. So it is happening. Uh, you, looking for laborers. You... And what are you doing? What? Click. You are taking a rest. From way over here. Ah, okay. All right, well, I think that is going to do it for me this time. Didn't get a lot done. Just kind of snuck another peek into the life of our village. 
And cattle are out here this time to get this field brought back. What was the last fallow field? It goes in a clockwise order, so that's over here. And yeah, you guys brought back all you needed. Another village town, a house is done. You are ready to go next. So you're there. School's going to go in by the beginning of next episode. So I will catch you folks later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.